efficiency is the fraction of heat converted into work that is how much heat has been converted into work represented in percentage gives us the value of efficiency this is defined as efficiency is defined as the ratio of work to the heat supplied whatever heat we supply and whatever work the ratio of that is called efficiency it is denoted by this symbol this is called eta okay so efficiency is given by the formula efficiency eta is actually work by heat right what was the heat energy supplied q2 and what is the meaning of this work we know that w is equal to q in case of carnot cycle or cyclic process so w is equal to q in q means q2 minus q1 right so in case of q w we can write q2 minus q1 it will be like this and if we solve it we'll get 1 minus q1 by q2 this is the formula of efficiency that we use to find the value of efficiency properly here this formula depends on the heat okay heat energy that is q1 and q2 there is one more formula that is frequently used in uh, to calculate efficiency that is uh, again since eta is equal to w by q2 okay w by q2 means look at here what is the meaning of w w means r t2 minus t1 ln b2 by v1 this was the formula of w work done and what is the value of q2 q2 means the heat energy supplied by the uh, supplied by the source to the system that was given by the formula r t2 ln b2 by v1 right let's cancel r r cancel these two values are cancel so it is t2 minus t1 by t2 is equal to 1 minus t1 by t2 this is another formula to calculate the value of efficiency or you can simply write eta is equal to 1 minus q1 by q2 and that is also equal to 1 minus t1 by t2 so from here you can establish the relation between q1 q2 t1 t2 as well this is the meaning of efficiency if the value of efficiency is more that is better for us because the uh, the machine is converted more heat into work okay this depends on temperature as well now let's see different cases related to efficiency in terms of temperature the formula of efficiency in terms of temperature is t2 minus t1 by t2 right it depends on the initial temperature and final temperature you can simply say t1 and t2 so the first condition is what if the gap between the temperatures that is t1 and t2 increases that is this gapping that is t2 is getting bigger and bigger and t1 is getting smaller and smaller then what will happen in this case the efficiency will increase efficiency will increase the another condition is what if t1 is equal to zero that means the lower temperature is zero or zero simply you can say this is absolute zero absolute zero case so if the system is working between absolute zero case and higher temperature then the efficiency will be 100 percent just imagine if we can uh, work between absolute zero of temperature and any higher temperature then the efficiency of that engine would be 100 percent this is second case and the third case is what if the temperature t1 and t2 are equal that is the engine is working at the same temperature then in this particular case eta will be equal to zero that means there won't be any efficiency and the machine will not work i hope you understood everything about this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video